I don't know if that radio was stolen or not, and if it was stolen, uh, where the wire messed up under the dashboard somehow, that affected the operation of the dashboard. Good afternoon viewers, uh, today we're dealing with a 2011 uh, Ford F-150, 3.5 liter engine, uh, customer's complaint, no lights whatsoever on the dashboard, the cluster is not working, oh, let me grab the key. There you go, the car's on. No cluster, no AC control. Barely, you see the lights, they come on and they go off. Nothing here. Sometimes you see them. But again, no AC control. Hazards. Nothing here but outside work. I had somebody check with me. This we're not sure because the indicator is there. Yeah. I hear clicking by the engine when I switch this. Headlights, they work. And uh, um, they're a mechanic said he checked all the fuses so and I don't think it's a fuse issue because all of these circuits they are separated when it comes to uh, battery voltage supply but this is what is in common that happened with me earlier too so we gotta put that on the side I pull a couple of circuits and on this circuit which is, I don't want to close it, uh, interior light instrument illumination circuit, page one of one. You see all these uh, uh, violet and gray lines? All of these are common with these switches and lights and all of that. And so this is the uh, this is the uh, the battery voltage. These are the fuses that they checked. Fuse 12. That we have to check that. But if we can get to any of these lines and check them, uh, if we have 12 volt or whatever voltage we have, then that that's good. What I think it is, I think it's G203. That is what I think. There's G204, G202, but I see G203 because here in the AC condition, air condition, we have also G202 and we have G203. Could be one of them, could be both of them, we're not sure, but let me just double check this fuse again one more time. Body control module, right kick panel, Fuse 12, 15 amp. Let's check this fuse. Fuse 12. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna use my phone. Nine, ten, the red one. Eleven, twelve. It's supposed to be fifteen, but it's a twenty. That's fine. Oh, I forgot to mention this car had a aftermarket radio removed out of it. The wiring is still here, but the radio is out. So that fuse is good. Since we have uh, access to the hazard light, it's right here. And it's pin 1, pin 6. 1 is ground, 6 is the the 12 volt that comes from that fuse we just checked. So pin one should be ground, and it is. And that pin number six is this one. Okay, we don't have 12 volts. We have a problem in this line. 
now there's a splice 221 main wiring harness near breakout to that a link connector uh, that's a high traffic area that's possible let's go check it out so it's this line whatever that's the that's the common one whatever happened to it it's not the whole thing it gotta be between here and here because everything is not working I checked everything roof opening panel no, not this one yeah not not the switch we're talking about the lights by the way and it's hard to find out on a, a daylight I do let me let me check this it's a two to one actually taking a look at it I should check here at this connector right here c2280 b 1040 I should check here and if I have that 12 volt that coming from that fuse that means there is an opening that wire if I don't have it that means the body control module need to be replaced so I missed to do something which is put the, the light on, switch it on to that position and I just did and our voltage changed. Let me show you guys. Off. On. So if you guys see now it's on, there's a little bit you won't notice it because of the uh, see how flickering there is a voltage drop somewhere I just wanted to mention that I don't know what's what should be here 12 or 5 it might be 5 and I even no, no, no I don't want to mention that anyways uh, let me I found that connector that should be it and uh, 40 right here control mode LP and some panel switch illumination so let's find it I think that's the connector right there let's take it out and move the protective piece so it's not that big one but it's this this right here I took it out and then you use a, a small tool like this to uh, you see these you just uh, tuck it in here I tuck it in here and push it out a little bit you'll be able to slide these out this is our pin pin 40 right here the violet and gray so we're gonna check after we insert it we're gonna check what's the um, what is the uh, voltage here Let's put it Put it over there. What do we have? Same voltage. One. I don't know if that radio was stolen or not, and if it was stolen, uh, or the wire messed up under the dashboard somehow, that affected the operation of the dashboard. Uh, let me do a lot of digging and. Uh, I wish I know what's the voltage to let this look at it on the computer. I don't think it says anything here. It says black light and LED. We have 12 volts here. I don't know why we don't have a 12 volt here. How about this? How about if we move that harness? We have key on or key off? Key on now. Key off. On. Off. Okay. Do we have AC? No. Nothing. Okay. Key off. Take the key out. And. I'll probably duplicate it. Look, see, I'm about to insert the harness. I was doing that. 
There you go. See it? 12 volt. Now I'm gonna hold it like this, see? It went out. Uh oh, came back on. See now? How about the AC? AC is still not working, but we have lights. Um, what I need, I need to the key on. If I put the lights off, yes. See it? Yes. Perfect. Comes back with the light on. Is it a pin fit? I think so. Let's look at the pin. I'm gonna show you guys how that other half of that harness not even in. It's halfway in. And it's working properly when i bring it in all the way in it doesn't work so let me take it out see if if we have a problem with the pin here's the schematic for the uh, ac control we have we want to check this uh, uh pin number 10 black should be ground which is right here That's a ground. We want to check pin the volt battery, pin 26, brown and red. 26, brown and red, this one. Battery voltage. And we don't have anything else here except the uh, the MS can plus and minus 12 and 13 12 and 13 which is this one 13 9.3 and this one 9.2 I know that doesn't mean anything we need to go get the uh, snap-on uh, scope well we might have a problem here I'm right here on the pin 13 and I do have the same reading 12 volt but I don't have it as um, a message sent I don't have it as a waveform I don't have it as a a network signal I'm gonna switch to that gray and orange 12 and it's the same thing that live was 9.26 I think that's not good we might have a problem here do you guys think a missing radio would cause this problem let's say the radio on the same uh, MS um, diagram as those not working components so if we look at a diagram and see if there is two pins that we need to jump in order to bypass the radio that's just an idea I'm just thinking out loud what I did actually I went and got my VCI sca uh, scanner and I'm, I'm gonna scan the vehicle I want to scan it see do we have power here here yeah, we do I want to scan the vehicle see what we have what codes so we have a uh, one pending code, fuel level sensor, A circuit high, two not current codes, valid that I received from BCM because I probably disconnected. Fuel level sensor again in the transmission, blah, 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 not current. Airbag restraint system, not current, not current, not current, not current, not current. Uh, occupant classifier, okay. Anti-theft. Not carrying, not carrying. There's a current key and switch circuit short to ground or open. 
Current code key switch. Circuit shorts groom door open. Last communication with instrument panel control module. Now, as some of you guys know, the instrument panel control module in a lot of vehicles is the determining resistance. And I don't know uh, on on the network. And I don't know if this is a uh, only in a can high can low or uh, does it apply to the ms uh, uh, network so we need to keep this in mind so when we lose communication with uh, a cluster we might put the whole network down because now we have a different uh, resistance on the um, on the uh, circuit Uh, trailer brake control module, screws, uh, instrument panel control module. That's what I mean. Look, trailer brake control module, memory code, lost communication with the instrument panel. Should I go to the to the cluster and uh, ignore what's going on here? Because as of this moment, we cannot make this one unless we have um, a good uh, message sent from the other modules to HVAC. Did we have an HVAC? I don't think we have, I didn't see any HVAC. Okay, let's go back. All right, here's the heating. Oh, data display. The key on, right? Yes. No communication. Yeah, that confirms. We don't have any communication with the HVAC. So, we know what's the problem with this. It's a network problem. What else? Instrument panel control module. Definitely we don't have any communication with that. All right. What else? Engine transmission airbag. Sink. No, we don't have. We definitely don't have communication with that. Yep. Next would be pads yeah we do we definitely do yep go back mm, bcm i want to see if we have communication with a bcm yeah we do all right what should we check next? So if I have you guys sideways, I'm just trying to avoid glare. Poor student. Okay, we have communication. Post it in. Yes. All right, steering column is good. Trailer temperature. Transfer case to see if we have it here. I mean, I doubt it. I don't think no, that would be stupid. Okay well, We've seen a lot of stupidity from manufacturers. So I wouldn't say it's stupid um, Next let me look at uh, wiring diagram for the for the MS uh, um, I, uh, Network the well looking at a diagram it all starts with the data link connector and there's two uh, two branches the MS and the HS and what I have noticed uh, instrument panel cluster on the HS 
network not on the MS everything else on the etches works as far as I know but here I didn't check C and D we'll check it out body control module next this is C and D restrain yes and yes break yeah restrain yes parking yes 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 occupant classify yes so on this network the only thing is the cluster we have to check the cluster see why it's not working power ground and uh, network if we do that means the cluster is bad so going to four oh we still have more no this is the it, yeah yeah we still have more hs anti like break yeah transfer case yeah we should put steering column we are here key on and let's go to transfer case the last one data display yes yeah we should have it yeah we do so transfer case is good what else parking aid occupant classified power control module pcm okay so here we have the enf this is the ms GPS we don't have it sync it's lost we lost this one BCM we have it uh, TPMS we should have front display module front controllers interface module CIM that's for the radio I don't think and no no this is without navigation I don't know if we had navigation or not but we'll see interior lighting control module hmm interior lighting control module uh, that's on the ms all right audio control module in dash computer in dash computer i don't know if that was it says in the center of the dash i don't know if that was taken with the radio People would think that, hey, it's a part of the radio. Let's take it. Yeah, what else? We have GPS. So the last one here is driver seat module, dual climate control, seat module, HVAC. We don't, we don't. Driver seat module. I think we, I found it here somewhere. You see the... Uh, heating, venting, no, no, audio digital power running, we don't have that, HVAC module, no good, so, the climate control, no good, driver seat module, uh, so everything before probably, G and H, everything here we don't have. Uh, let's go back here. Where did we lose it? TPMS, tire pressure monitor. Uh, come on. Okay, TPMS is not working. TPMS is not working. BCM is working. Uh, what do we have here on this one? Front display in the face module. No, front face module. No. Interior light and control module. Audio control and dash computer. This one here says with in dash computer without audio control module. I don't know if that's if we don't have that or if we do. Okay, ENF. So I'll go back here. This is not ENF. ENF here starts here with the module computer communication network. I'm at 3 and 11. 
everything connected okay let's see if we have it here they are blinking and we have the same thing and 11 same thing you see can high can low make sure our our snap on is not is not messing up but it's not because can high can low works but 3 and 11 no good so all started from here the whole network i think is down here's the nano e diagram of it everything i highlighted we don't have it's offline it's offline everything is offline it all starts with the body control module so we're gonna have to go and check those two pins 38 and 39 if we don't have it here we have a bad bcm if we have it here we have a cut between this place and the bcm because everything after this place is dead one other thing i noticed you see this accessory protocol interface module epim this has two networks the hs and the ms and the hs those two lines guess what those two lines they go to the instrument panel cluster so i think two good spots to check is the body control module and that uh, accessor protocol interface module let's look center of dash with sync do we have sync it looks like we have sync i've seen it before microsoft sync yeah somewhere here that that plate so we might have a missing accessory protocol interface module or faulty i was looking for that uh module here and I noticed that I told the owner that this car had an aftermarket radio so the easiest uh, and cheapest fix since he has everything wired is just to go to any radio place and ask them which one is for this uh, harness for and he can get a double in and install but uh, what I noticed here is this harness unplugged from this one and uh, I'm not gonna I, I, I never tried it I'm not gonna say that uh, this one will will fix it but it might fix it so let's hook it up and see if we have our cluster and all other modules back online okay. all right we had our AC back Yep, our AC is working now. What else? Cluster is still not works. Yeah, cluster is still not working. <laughs> that's the reason why probably they disconnected because of the <laughs> then oh my god the actuator is so annoying let's see if i can change the setting here yeah there you go ah but now okay that's better cold we need cold today's 70 here in dallas Alright, AC is working now. Uh, will that change anything? Let's do another full scan, see what, what comes uh, alive. Doing a full scan, now we have 19. We have more modules, including the TPMS, transfer case, uh, heating, radio, tire again, and most important, we had the EPM. 
body control module, blah, blah, blah. Hold on, let me show you guys. Airbag we had before, occupant we had right here. Access your protocol interface module. We didn't have that, now we have it. Plus communication with radio, yeah, we know that. All right, so TPMS, good. BCM, we had that, I think, yeah, we had that. Port steering, we had it. TPMS, we didn't have, now we have. Heating, radio, we didn't have. Tire pressure again, and like we had trailer, we didn't have. No, we did, we did have, my bad. Climate control, we didn't have. Display interface module, we didn't have, which is this one right here. Now we have it. And seat module driver, we didn't have. The whole network, everything is back online once we connected this one. So this is the the cut that was preventing the network from working. Now we still have one more problem, which is the instrument cluster. We need to know what's going on with this cluster. I have to get to it. Let me look at it. Uh, look at the diagram. Now we have a known good. I think this is the high. The high is between uh what is that two and a half and three and a half you see how it's different and the low is between two and a half and one and a half so basically like the uh the can high and can low ms high and ms low but less data transferred in that network less uh, uh less busy right here now we are on the cluster and we need to check this is the first uh, pin five black ground and uh, for that i'm gonna use the uh, power probe because it has audio we do have on that pin the black one set one 12 and 13 hs can plus and minus i'm gonna use the scope for that do this and those should be the last two right here the last two in this uh, uh, well white blue come on and we do have it what well, the best thing to do is use two uh, channels and check to see make sure that both networks are mirroring each other and that's the low let me bring another channel Let's zoom out and let's see we had a couple of hookups here I didn't like that's why I I went and got another channel because I saw that with the first when it was only one channel ah. yeah I saw that when it was only one channel I just wanted to make sure those are not something we have to worry about but they might be I don't see them repeat and it might be a, a wire or a scanner glitch I don't know like you see here a little bit of difference you see here no here is good I don't know I would say here I would say it's good acceptable probably let's uh, move on is pin 21 it says volt battery and we do have battery voltage on this pin I went back to the scanner to the instrument panel right here instrument panel control module I wanted to see if I have communication I don't have communication with it 
although we have powers, grounds, and data link. I don't see anything else that would be Has only one one plug. Is it a bad cluster? I mean, it could be internally. We have everything needed to make that cluster work. I'm gonna call a bad cluster. But before I do that, I know these. Uh, it's easy to take them uh, apart. So I'm gonna uh, get permission from the owner. I'm gonna get permission from the owner to see if we can take this apart and see if there's anything that we can fix probably. So I don't joint is bad, you know, power ground, uh, get into the motherboard of it. You'll never know. It's trash anyway, so might as well try to fix it. Let's go ask the uh, owner. I got the okay from the owner to go ahead and disassemble this cluster. And I already pulled the back. And the reason why I didn't pull the front because I found the problem. Here's the problem. I don't know if we can repair this or we need another cluster. Most probably we need another cluster. I'm going to do my um, research on how to transfer the saved data from this cluster to the new cluster I think we can do it I've seen I've seen it done before and I think this is the chip actually I think this is the chip we need to probe I have the tools the EEPROM EEPROM no I think it's either this one or that one that little one but we'll see um, yeah that might be I don't know how many videos is going to take this job, but uh, I think so far two videos and if we ever repair this cluster, it's going to be uh, uh, part three. Uh, it's an interesting case. Thank you guys for watching. Please, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button. Trust me, it's not easy to work and film at the same time. It, it slows you down and as long as I know what I am doing is going to help somebody find their problem easier and cheaper without taking the car to the dealer, a stealer. Um, I am happy. Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll take the extra step. I'll uh, delay myself. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate any feedback, good, bad, anything. I will always learn from, from people around me. Thank you guys for watching.